Okay, gang, I'm threading through the heddles. We'll just go one little batch at a time here. So my intent with this pattern is that everything's going to be based on color because I'm only going to do plain weave. But I'm using um, shafts one, two, three, and four to do it because I don't have enough heddles on shafts one and two to just do only two shafts for plain weave. So I'm threading it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I'll just tie it up so that that becomes plain weave. And that having been said, you can see that I'm slower in the Dickens when it comes to threading heddles. And in this section, while I am thinking of this as a set of blue towels with the royal blue, I've got two sections that will have alternating yellow and another color. I think this one is periwinkle. I've forgotten what this other one is called. It looks like teal to me, but I don't think that's the official name of it. Well, suffice to say, I am grabbing these heddles, pulling them over, there's shaft three, there's shaft four. Hopefully you can see my markings that I've shown you a few other times previously right down here where I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. written on the top edge of the lower um, bar that holds the heddles where I've got that written down in um, Roman numerals to help me recognize which um, shaft I'm working with. So we'll go quickly through the um, heddle here. Yeah, this is a slow process when you're doing it 560 times. Um, I started on this two days ago. I don't work steady at this. I don't want to turn it into a bloody job. So I work an hour or two and then take a break. Maybe I'll come back an hour or two later, do a little bit more, and then again maybe I'll leave it sit until the next day. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little more here, right into this area where I'm working. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this is zoomed in correctly for right here, yeah. So th there we are with the threading of a heddle and another. And
Well, I'm on the fifth towel of this set, and there, my guess is I'll have about seven or eight inches of warp left. If that. Maybe only five or six. So, careful, don't drop your shuttle. So, every one of these has got some variation color in the weft, so that each of the five towels will be different, and yet they all follow the same basic design pattern. Um, let's see, the first one is the same blue as this thread in the middle. For the second one, I used a red weft. I've forgotten which one is third and which one is fourth, but one of those uses this purple, which I think is really called periwinkle, and this color, which I can't remember its name, but to me it looks like teal. And that's three and four. Now this one I'm using the yellow which, of course, everywhere else is an accent stripe. So, and of course, you'll see all of these when I finally get them hemmed and show them to you at the end of this video. And I'm close. I'm probably about halfway done with this last towel. Let's see, where are we? Yeah. So that's how much I've got left to go. Advance the work time. Time for a color change, so we'll and. Let's see, I need to pick up which is next. And it will be periwinkle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine,
13, 14, 15, 16, I think I'll take a break now from uh, videoing, but you've gotten the idea of what I've been doing. And it's just the same stuff over and over again, so. Well, there you are, YouTubers. It must be at least four inches, maybe four and a half, of thread left behind the heddles. And I have finally reached the uh, point where I'm going to call these uh, towels done. So let's go take a look around the other side at the front of the loom. And... Um, Maybe we should cut these off. Now this really is the end. So we can take this thing off. Tuck this tail in. And I'm going to loosen it just a little bit. And then find my scissors. I'll use the small one. Maybe I want a little, a little bit of tension. Done. Um, I'll loosen the um, little ratchet that holds the front beam in place and There's the yellow towel. Here's the teal towel. Here's the light purple, also I think called periwinkle towel. There's the red towel. And the blue one. Now I can take and cut this end off. If 
five towels done. Next uh, step is to head into the sewing room and put a hem on these. Okay, YouTubers, the uh, towels are done. Been done for a while now, but I'm finally getting around to showing the last part of the video. Here is towel number one. Well, I can't remember if it's really the first one in this that was on the loom. I don't remember what sequence I did them in. But there's the first one. There's one of them. Let's put it that way. Here's another. And again, if you come in really close, you can kind of see that little mini herringbone uh, part in there. I, I kind of like the way that looked. Just toss them over to the side for the moment. Another one. They're all very similar. Um, I was playing with different color combinations in the weft as I did them. This is the one I think I like the most. I Because um, the, the warp, of course, had that dark blue in it, but I used a red weft. And you can see I got this really neat looking purple. I hope it hasn't gone out of focus yet. But there you go, that's... Anyway, so there's those towels done. Like I said, they've been done for a while, but I haven't been in a mood to do videos lately, so... Finally catching up. So anyways, if you like my videos, all the usual like, subscribe, etc. that every YouTuber says. And I'll catch you the next time I feel like messing with anything, although I do have something on the loom right now. Um, I think some of you know from past videos I've mentioned I'm enrolled in Jane Stafford's School of Weaving classes and um, one of her sessions this year was um, a a structure called Summer and Winter and I'm taking her basic Summer and Winter ideas and instead of using the sizes of thread that she's got and making um, placemats as she was doing I'm using a I'm using 8-4 cotton as my warp and tabby weft and I'm using um, the cheap peaches and cream stuff from Walmart as my pattern weft and um, I'm turning them into a bunch of hot pads. I just thought that would be an interesting way of doing it so maybe I'll do a video on that I don't know haven't decided yet. Catch you the next time around on YouTube. Bye bye.